Motorola made the first cell phone call in 1973. People nicknamed the phone the brick due to its large size and how big the antenna was. In 1983, Motorola made their cell phones available to the public for purchase. Then as years passed, cell phones got smaller and less expensive. When Apple first released the iPhone in June of 2007, that changed how cell phones would be made. Phones would become smaller with no antennas so that they can fit in your pocket. The pros of owning a cell phone are information can be accessed easily in the palm of your hands, easy to make phone calls without having to go to a pay phone, photos and videos can be taken on a cell phone in case you forget your camera. Hey Alex, what's shaking? I have so much work to catch up on today. It's just way too much to do. I can't, oh, damn. Sure. Oh, oh yeah, guess what came in the mail yesterday? What, your new Playboy magazine? <laughs> no, I just bought a new cell phone and I got the case for it. Hey, did you want to see it? I brought it with me. Yeah, sure, let me see it. Okay, okay, wait, hold up, let me, I'm gonna get it. A pager, also known as a beeper, is a wireless telecommunications device that receives and displays numeric and or receives and announces voice messages. Pagers operate as a part of a paging system, which includes one or more fixed transmitters, as well as a number of pagers carried by mobile users. Hey, what's jiggling? Hey, Chris, it's Alex. You want to go to Carl's Jr.? Hey, I'm, I'm actually there right now. Oh, all right. Are you trying to head inside? Yeah, let's go. Back in the day, people communicated through handwritten information and personal notes on paper. They would then fold this paper to fit neatly into an envelope, stamped and addressed to a certain receiver. This old form of technology was called a letter. It became very popular in the world's wars, providing a personal piece of home and motivation throughout the battle, specifically in World War II. Since then, the use of letters has declined. The United States Postal Service noticed a 21% decline in mailed letters from 2007 to 2011. In 1990, 2.68 million letters were mailed. In 1987, one personal letter was received every two weeks. As of today, 1.41 million letters are mailed and on average, homes receive a personal letter every seven to 10 weeks. In our digital age today, 
social networking and texting has become the number one form of establishing communication lines. On average, smartphone owners between the ages of 18 and 24 send 2,066 text messages per month. On average, we spend about six and a half hours on social networking sites and web browsing. A 2015 study shows that Facebook is the largest form of communication globally with 1.37 billion users, while booming sites such as Instagram accounts for 3.2 million users and Snapchat accounts for 1.13 million users. Other communication platforms such as Google Plus and LinkedIn acquire 3.47 million users and 3.36 million users. This same study shows that 67% of users log on to their favorite account primarily for keeping in contact with current friends. 64% of users keep in contact with family members. 50% of users reconnect with older friends. 9% of users make new friends. And only 3% of users try to find true love. Give me your phone. Oh my god. Can we can we take a snapshot first? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I'm about to get robbed, and this is the guy who's robbing me. Hey, I don't like the way my eyes came out then. You think we can do it again? Do you want to do it again? Yeah, yeah, let's do okay. that. Okay. <laughs> Bad light. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta, I gotta stop looking at the camera. Okay. Nice. Yeah, sure. Let me see it. I looked at the camera. 